Death Valley is regarded as a place of extreme since it is among the driest, lowest, and hottest places on Earth. But despite its nickname, it's also a site brimming with surprises, history, geological oddities, and life. Here are 10 amazing facts about Death Valley that you might not be aware of. Number 10. Highest Recorded Temperatures. Much of Death Valley's fame comes from its reputation as one of the hottest places on Earth and one of the driest in North America. And on July 10, 1913, the highest air temperature ever recorded was taken at Furnace Creek, when the temperature reached a whopping 134 degrees Fahrenheit, 57 degrees Celsius. That temperature still stands as the official world record. Number 9. Tsunamis and Earthquakes. In Nye County, there is a geological structure called Devil's Hole. The water there has a really peculiar and extraordinary quality. Devil's Hole has demonstrated to be a unique global indicator of seismic activity. The water in Devil's Hole has been known to slosh around as a result of strong earthquakes that have occurred in places like Japan, Indonesia, and Chile. There have been reports of waves crashing up the cliffs as high as 6.5 feet or 2 meters. In essence, earthquakes anywhere in the world can cause a tsunami in Death Valley. Number 8. Many Ghost Towns. Numerous mining communities arose in Death Valley during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, many of them following several gold and silver rushes. Some of these settlements, such as Chloride City, didn't even last a full year. These towns are now nothing more than remnants, such as tin structures and cement foundations. Others have entirely vanished. Panamint City, one of the most infamous of these mining communities, was established by outlaws who abandoned a life of crime after discovering silver in the Panamint Mountains. However, despite Panamint City's rising 2,000-person population in 1874, the silver rush was short-lived and terminated in less than a year. And a flash flood in 1876 completely destroyed the town. Number 7. Stones that move on their own. One of Death Valley's most unique features is the flat desert stretch known as the Racetrack Playa. That's because there are a lot of big rocks there that seem to move by themselves. Known as sailing stones, these boulders range in size from a few ounces to hundreds of pounds. Even though no one has seen the stones move in person, trails they leave behind and changes in their placements have been seen. In 2014, a team of academics used time-lapse photography to get the first ever glimpse of the rocks moving. Number 6. Lowest Elevation in North Amaris. Death Valley boasts both the lowest point and the hottest point in North America, as if that weren't amazing enough. The Badwater Basin, which is 282 feet or 86 meters below sea level, contains this lowest point. The basin, which was once the site of an old lake, is now covered with salt flats that span more than 200 square miles or 518 square kilometers, creating an odd and bizarre scene. According to legend, a donkey who refused to drink from this pool, gave the Badwater Basin its name. Naturally, it's not surprising that the mule declined given how salty the water is. Number 5. Named by early pioneers. The name of the region is also the subject of an intriguing mythology that is based on a real incident. An adventurous group of pioneers lost their way along the old Spanish trail in the early 1800s after waiting too long to traverse a more popular route across the Sierra Nevada mountains. The party only managed to survive the horrifying and protracted ordeal that ensued by ceasing to exist due to dehydration because of a snowfall. Amazingly, though, only one member of the group was killed, largely because two of them had scout training. According to legend, one of the guys turned and said, goodbye Death Valley, and the phrase has persisted ever since. Number 4. Abundance of life amid extreme landscape. In a terrible environment like Death Valley, not much would seem to be able to live. The Death Valley is home to a variety of animals despite its moniker, including coyotes, roadrunners, bobcats, mountain lions, bighorn sheep, lizards, toads, and even desert tortoises. Number 3. Scenes from Star Wars. The first Star Wars films were filmed in Death Valley, even though the story is set in a galaxy far, far away. That's because the scene set on Tatooine, a harsh desert planet best known to fans as the home of Luke Skywalker, were shot there. Death Valley's gorgeous and desolate scenery made for an ideal setting. Death Valley was the location for scenes in two of the original trilogy movies, 1977's Star Wars, A New Hope, and 1982's Return of the Jedi. Number 2. Ancient Volcanic Explosion. 
The Ubihibi Crater is a sizable volcanic crater that may have only created 2,000 years ago. It is 600 feet or 183 meters deep, and half a mile or 0.8 kilometers broad. The crater, known to the Timbisha Shoshone Indians as, Tempintita Wosa, is a significant cultural site. It's also said to be a beautiful location to visit around sunset, when the layers of colorful granite are more obvious. Number 1. Scotty's Castle. One of the most popular attractions in Death Valley National Park is Scotty's Castle, a two-story Spanish villa in Grapevine Canyon. But despite its name, it is neither a castle nor owned by a Scotty. Although the man who gave the place its namesake may have had you believe differently. It was built in 1927, by Albert Johnson, a wealthy Chicago insurance executive. In 2015, the castle was nearly completely destroyed due to a flood, as Death Valley received a year's worth of rain in a single afternoon. The castle, owned by the National Park Service now, is being renovated with plans to open it to visitors once again. I really do hope you like this video. We'll have more videos soon. Keep in touch, people. Please leave a comment below if you have any requests or suggestions for videos I should do. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.